Hey, here's a little test scene that I've been working on. Um, what you're seeing here is basically three light source. There is a green light here, blue light back there, and in the middle there's actually a white light. Um, all the objects in the scene, like the cube, the sphere, these cubes, the ground, all have a diffuse, normal, and specular map attached to them. Uh, the frame rate may not be entirely smooth because that's Camtasia. I'm pulling over a thousand something frames per second, but whenever I move it kind of gets jerky. Now what's interesting about this scene is there are actually zero real-time lights, uh, which is why we're only getting 11 draw calls. The lighting is all pre-baked, um, so the lighting effects themselves, the shadow, uh, the ambient occlusion in the corners of the walls or below the cubes here, that's all pre-baked in. Uh, if I move the cube around, as you can see, as I get close to the blue light, the cube turns blue. If I move away, he starts to lose the blue shade and go, if I go to the green side, then he starts to take on the green shade. And that's using the new light probe system inside of Unity 3.5. Now, uh, what's pretty cool about this technique is I can actually uh, turn on one of the real-time lights uh, as I just did and what you're seeing right now is we have a real-time shadow being cast on the cube I have all the other objects set to ignore the real-time light so now the draw calls went from 11 to 19 which is nothing we picked up eight draw calls related to drawing this um, so it's basically a few more draw calls because of the cube and a few more to cast a shadow on the ground but as I move around, um, actually if I go here, you'll see that the shadow of the cube is actually not affecting this cube here because it's ignoring it, which it's a minor compromise. Otherwise, I'd be at 40 draw calls or something of that nature to be able to cast a shadow on these things. But what's neat is the light probes are still working um, and it's super efficient. It might be jerky using Camtasia, but obviously at a thousand frames. The, normally it's clocking in at 0.8 milliseconds to run this scene which is nothing and it spikes up and down because Camtasia is recording. Um, I was using Fraps earlier but it was like causing the, the thread, the main thread, to jump up to 13.5 milliseconds or something which was kind of weird. So anyway, so the other cool thing with uh, the pre-baked lighting and shadows and everything is I can actually in real time um, if I pre-bake different lighting conditions, I can actually swap them in real time. So I'm actually clicking a button to turn on and swap different pre-baked maps. So now with the red stuff, if the cube goes here, he actually grows, uh, glows red. Um, if I swap to blue, make sure I'm on the right screen, um, now you can see he takes on the pre-lighting stuff. So anyway, it's pretty cool. Um, especially given that there's no real-time lights except this single one that's here. Um, this is running right now in deferred uh, lighting mode, uh, which actually causes more draw calls to occur. In forward rendering mode, this entire scene uh, is five draw calls as opposed to 11, but in forward rendering mode, there's no way to get real-time shadows out of point lights. The only way I can get real-time shadows is out of directional lights. Um, and that's the main difference. Now, um, deferred rendering doesn't work on the iOS devices. Forward does, but I don't think the shadows, even from a directional light, works on an iOS device. So again, the main difference would be, uh, visually anyway, if I turn off the light, um, this is literally what it would look like if I was in forward rendering mode, um, except the draw calls would be at five, and now you can see the cube has no real-time shadows on it. Um, so that would be the compromise on a mobile device. Uh, it would actually look a little bit better. Uh, I'm having to use, it's actually doing a fine job, a screen space, um, a filter effect for the anti-aliasing, because I also discovered anti-aliasing does not work. Uh, in deferred rendering mode. Um, so you have to use a post, I guess, effect um, F, uh, whatever version they're using, which is the, the I'm using right now the FXAA um, NT aliasing, full screen NT aliasing uh, versus the hardware one. So, anyway, so that's a quick demo of some of the new stuff. 
Let me know what you think. Talk to you later. Bye.